Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, I am going to tell you about all our laser boxes. So we have four boxes here. So this is our laser box version 1.1 small one. This is 1.1 bigger version. This is dynamic PWM and the laser box version 2. So uh, where do you need those boxes? Those boxes you need to control the laser module. So this is our laser module with a, a laser diode inside. You have a heatsink here, so you need a driver to control it. So let me show you a little bit inside here. So we have a DC-DC converter that uh, stabilizes current and voltage. And we have a MO1 PC board. So this uh, PC board uh, you need to have to control the laser with PWM signal. Uh, so this box uh, has three options, uh, full power, PWM and off. And we have a switch, uh, a key switch for protection and uh, security purposes. So this is uh, quite easy to use these, these boxes, these box. Uh, those wires you can uh, uh, they, they go to your laser diode and these two wires for PWM. Uh, if you want to extend endurance laser uh, box, endurance laser wires, you need to use AVG 10 or 12 because uh, if you use uh, thinner wires, then you, you'll have some losses on wires and your laser will work uh, not so so powerful as it should be. Uh, what about this box? So this one has a little bit more uh, advanced uh, features. We have a uh, voltmeter to measure input voltage. We have output uh, parameters, output data for your uh, laser diode. We have a voltage here and we have current here. We have a temperature sensor to control your laser temperature. Also we have full power, PWM and focusing mode. Okay, let me show you how this uh, laser box works. Okay, let's get started. Uh, these are off, now they're on. We have input voltage here and we have a stable voltage on our laser diode. Now Pasha is turning on a PWM box. So the good thing about this box is that you can actually modulate the laser power with this box. You can also change it uh, in Arduino using our focusing mode we'll, we'll show you a little bit later and uh yeah okay let's let's show it you need to plug the power so it's important thing that you have a power for arduino and uh, focusing mode will only work once you have it uh power okay let's let's turn on okay you see the very uh, low power it's 0 0.3 amps and so the laser power it's almost a little bit shining it's it's not even burning so that's a focusing mode with PWM mode uh, you can change uh, power here uh, we go to uh, first mode here and you can adjust let me uh, zoom in okay so I can change a laser power by uh, uh, by uh, turning uh, our potentiometer Right, so you can. It's also for focusing mode and maybe for some some tests. So that's pretty much it about our laser box. So you have uh, full power. Let me show you full power. You have focusing mode. You have PWM, and you have uh, wires, silicon wires that go for dynamic PWM uh, box. But usually they go directly to your uh, PVM. Uh, pin on your controller, on your main board of your engraver or uh, 3D printer. Okay, the last story will be about our laser box version 2. So this is the most advanced endurance laser box and the most advanced driver. We have MO2 PC board inside. So this is very, very advanced uh, electronic component. Uh, with that uh, component, you can run uh, the laser using different PWM frequencies and also using analog input. So this box is usually used for our pro versions and uh, particularly this one has a thermal controller. Okay, Pasha will turn it on, uh, the laser. Okay, we have a switch 
and full, uh, yeah, turn on. You have 5.4 volts, and we have a temperature temperature sensor over here. So let me show you. So the temperature sensor and the temperature control system controls the temperature of the laser and for tech cooling system. So the, the main job for this uh, for this part of the laser box to control to keep the laser cold but not too cold otherwise you'll have moisture and prevent it from overheating. So for let's say you have like 100 or 100 Fahrenheit in your office or in your workshop. Yeah, that's too hot. And then you can, uh, uh, for some reasons, you can burn the laser if you leave it unattended and the temperature or one tech uh, cooling plate will stop working. Then there's a high probability that you will just burn. And this system will keep it uh, in temperature range. And once uh, it goes too hot, the laser will be automatically turned off. Okay, so this is our full power, and we have Z80 diode over here. So the small power, powerful than uh, all other uh, endurance lasers. So this is 10 watt plus pro, the most powerful. And you see the temperature temperature is going up, and once it reaches 22.2, oh, sorry, 22 Celsius, the tech cooling activates and it starts cooling down. And now you'll see that it will keep the temperature as as uh, uh, as good as possible in terms of, of the range. So you see that they are working and you see that the temperature now is stable. But I can also change uh, power with dynamic PWM. You see I can adjust power with dynamic PWM. Okay, sorry, I forgot to uh, use z uh, zero position to change the power. So first uh, is full power and second is analog. So it's slight, slightly different. So the same way we can change and adjust the laser power. And we also have an incoming uh, voltage over here. So I think everything looks good. I think I told you everything about the laser and about the... Uh, laser system So hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends Visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com You can email me info at endurancelasers.com and you are welcome to reach uh, Endurance office. It's 239-302-0053 Enjoy and have a great and wonderful experience with endurance lasers. Bye. Bye